Hello, I'm Chris Edmonds of the Purposeful Culture Group. Here's today's culture leadership charge for your thoughtful consideration. How do you view the world? Your worldview impacts your plans, decisions, and actions every day at home, in your community, and at work. Entrepreneur and author Hiram W. Smith's description of our worldview makes a lot of sense to me. As part of his excellent reality model, Hiram describes an invisible belief window that hangs in front of our faces and through which we interpret the world around us. The issue is that we humans do not often check whether or not our worldview is valid in today's times. We simply embrace it as truth. If it's not valid, then our plans, decisions, and actions won't move us, our families, or our workplaces forward. Most leaders are handicapped by their worldview. They see their responsibilities, opportunities, and demands through their experiences and their beliefs. We all do that. Our childhood dynamics, our family dynamics, our community dynamics, the teachers and coaches we engaged with, the biases we observed and embraced or discarded, etc., all create a belief window through which we see others, judge others, and make decisions upon. The problem is that our worldview only works for us, and sometimes not even then. Our worldview is flawed, usually greatly flawed, when we apply it to others. Our narrow worldview limits us and limits our ability to connect with others effectively, to lead others effectively, to inspire effectively, and sometimes to live effectively. Servant leaders don't act purely from their own worldview. They see their role as serving others and helping others serve others. They surround themselves with people who are of different ethnicities, different communities, different religions, different family dynamics, and more. And they invite perspectives from all of those people. Engaging others' perspectives and ideas takes time but it validates others' worldviews and often creates better solutions to challenging problems facing your work team or your community. When a decision is made, it usually doesn't make everyone happy, but if the leader engages others, learns from others, and incorporates great perspective from others, and explains why the decision is best at this moment, that leader validates others and inspires others. Keep your belief window and worldview fresh and valid by including others, listening to others, and learning from others. Your impact will be purposeful, positive, and productive. What have I missed? What questions do you have? Add your thoughts or post your questions below or head to my YouTube channel and do the same.